all right i need somebody to like tell me if i'm wrong for this stitch the video comment whatever i'm gonna make it a long story short bro i'm not an asshole for telling this girl that i don't give a if her and her kids are outside cold i live in detroit michigan you know what i mean and it's in november so it's it's fairly cold outside like i chased this girl from when i was 14 up until i was about like 21 she never like really gave me the time of day she always thought i was a joke because of the type of dude that i am you know like i don't smoke i don't drink you know i don't go all like that i go to work i go home i play video games i like anime that type of shit. so she never really gave me a chance like that but she know i always have my own car and my own place and everything but i wake up at like four in the morning and she's talking about some hey i know you don't i know you hate me but like like me and my kids about to be out on the street whatever whatever can i come over there until i find a shelter and i'm looking around like what did you ask me that hell no you can't come over here we had a whole argument and i just ended the fucking conversation like i don't give a fuck about you or your kids those are not my kids and those are not my problems get all my inbox with that am i wrong man hell no he's not wrong what he should have did was told her yeah gave her the wrong address had her take a uber all the way across town just for her to pull up to a hardware store <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Don't do that. Don't do that, fellas. That's me. But seriously, like Erica Badu. I think you better call call and see if he can get away from one of his other baby mothers and come get you. Don't be up on my phone with this foolishness. Ain't nobody got time for this. I remember when I was younger. And I remember I'm like 17 years old and I'm catching a bus to school. Whatever. You know what I mean? I'm 17. I remember this girl in my neighborhood. I really liked her. And she just wasn't messing with me. Wouldn't pay me no attention. So a year later, I ended up getting a car. I started, you know, have a little bit of money in my pocket because I was working. And I ran across her and she's like, hey, you want to hang out? No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 no. Hell no. I'm like, hell no, I don't want to hang out with you. And it wasn't that she wasn't still fine. She was still cute. I just didn't want anything to do with her. My point is, women have it in their head that they can just dump on these dudes, kick these dudes when they down, and these dudes are going to just be sitting there waiting for them when they spin the block. That does not work. Listen, life is about making decisions, and a lot of times we make bad decisions. But when you make a bad decision, you have to now deal with that decision. So her and them kids have to figure out what to do, but that is not on this man at all. He has nothing to do with that. If you ain't like anime then, don't come around talking about anime now. I don't want to hear it. Good luck to you and them kids. You better bundle up because it's cold out there. I think I have just lost the one person that I've prayed for. All because of my self-sabotaging tendencies. God forbid I actually accept good things that are happening to me because I'm so used to it being a mess. I'm so used to it being toxic. And here I am in the face of a non-toxic situation, in the face of a God-fearing man, in the faces of a, a, a family man, an amazing person. And I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And I, I think I've just lost, I think I just lost the opportunity to experience something I've never experienced before. Kudos to this young lady. And to the women out there who don't know what's going on right now, this is called accountability, okay? I know you're looking around confused, but it's, it's called accountability. She is basically saying she messed up. It wasn't his fault. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't, he didn't mistreat her. She messed up. So many women love to play the victim and put everything on the man, and she's not doing that. So I give her a lot of credit for that. Self-sabotage is what it's called. And when you're in a relationship with somebody and things are good and there's nothing wrong and you find yourself doing little things to mess it up, that is what that is. A lot of women do it, a lot of men do it as well, but until you can acknowledge it or say it out loud, then and only then you will be able to fix it. Most of the time, this comes from damage from your past relationships. You're not used to having anything solid. So when that person comes along, it's just different. So a lot of people can't handle that. This is why a person's past matters. I know a lot of women love to say the past don't matter. Yes, it do. 
It does because of stuff like this. If you have never had a healthy relationship, if you've never seen a healthy relationship, this is the type of stuff you might do because when a man comes in the house and he just sits there and watch TV and, and he loves on you and do what you want in your head, something's not right. Like she said, she's used to toxic. She's used to fighting, arguing. But when you don't have that, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. So your past does matter. But I'm happy she's able to identify. I hope she gets the help that she needs so she can be better for the next man. So she don't just continue going through life, losing good men, then turning into that one lady who's always screaming, ain't no good men out there. First part is, after a man deals with a woman like that, he becomes damaged a little bit. He start having trauma and, and bad vibes about relationships because he's dealing with some of these crazy women. So what I am saying is her acknowledging it and her getting the help for it is a big step for not just her, but her future husband. So I wish this woman luck on her journey. Why are there women who say they go to clubs only to dance and not be approached by men? That's being a part of it. You're going outside late. Like. If women don't like being approached, mm -hmm. why not just go to gay clubs? Women go to clubs and bars to get attention from men. Why are there women-only gyms and various safe spaces, but no women-only nightclubs? Would that even make sense? I mean, isn't that the environment women complain about the most? Um, and they ha there are some like, women-only clubs. But I mean, how would it make money? Who's, who's women getting to the club for free? Who's spending the money? Can we conclude why a man might have a problem with his girlfriend going out and taking a girl's night? Of course, night? yeah. I understand. Look, I'm not even one to trip if my woman wants to go out to a nightclub, like once every blue moon. Now, I'm not talking about a woman that goes out every weekend or all the time, just like here and there, maybe for like a birthday or something like that. Now, me, myself, I haven't been out to a nightclub since we elected a black president, but that's just me. But this is also why I like women in my age group, because as you get older, you don't want to hang out in nightclubs like that anymore. You still want to go out maybe here and there, get a little dancing, but hanging out in nightclubs every weekend, <laughs> absolutely not. But I digress. But you got to understand why some men have a problem with this. Like the man said, if it was only about going out, dancing, and having a good time with your girls, why don't you go to a gay club? Don't worry, I'll wait. Now, this woman said there are women-only clubs. I've never seen that or even heard of that. And if it was one, I don't think it'll last too long. Because like he said, women don't want to pay for anything. So that club will be empty every night. Most women like attention from men. If women would start admitting that and stop acting like it has nothing to do with men, like I don't care about men, I'm not going out for them. Erroneous! Erroneous! Men go out to clubs like that to be around women as well. Doesn't mean they're gonna do anything, but we like to be around women. It is what it is. Just be honest about it, ladies. That's all I'm saying. I personally don't have a problem with it because if I trust my woman, I trust my woman. I'm gonna put more emphasis on the type of woman I choose to be with than the type of rules I give her. Because if you pick the right woman, you won't have to give her a bunch of rules. The same way if a woman picks the right type of man, she won't have to be worried about him and giving him a bunch of rules. You have to understand, if you have an attractive mate, they're gonna get hit on wherever they go. A nightclub, a gym, a grocery store, a parking lot, it doesn't matter. This is why I say if you focus on picking somebody with the right character, the right morals, the right values, then you won't have to worry about a lot of this stuff. But with that being said, I absolutely understand why a man would have a problem with this. That environment is made for men and women to hook up. It is what it is. But I just need you women to understand where these men are coming from when you run across a man who has this rule. Because we need to just call it what it is. Women like being around men for the attention and the free drinks and stuff like that. Doesn't mean they're gonna do anything. Just like men like being around women just to look at them. Doesn't mean they're gonna do anything either. That's why strip clubs are so popular. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong.